We also got a close up look at the tornado damage on the ground today. Meteorologist Brad Nitz continues our live severe weather team two coverage in Coweta County. And Brad, you've seen a lot of roof damage out there. Yeah, Glenn, so I'm on the ground here in Coweta County, live at the place that was damaged the most. The most extensive damage is here along George Wynn Road in Coweta County. It's one of the two tornadoes that you just talked about. This one, an EF1 with 105 mile an hour winds, caused some pretty extensive damage, ripped the front off of this house. We flew the Channel 2 drone over the most severely damaged home on George Wynn Road in Palmetto. From above, you can see the entire front of the house ripped off. You're always shocked. You can never be ready for this kind of damage. This is a look from inside. Insulation everywhere, boards snapped in two. The family was close by when it happened. They were home, children were upstairs, and the first thing they heard was a whistle, and the next thing they heard was a boom of, of the what I would probably assess that it was the dormers crashing on the roof. Yes. Next door, Eva and Kelly said it was the sound of the wind that scared her. My neighbor's trampoline is one of the tubes is stuck in our in our roof on the backyard. His grill, it's on my backyard and my plants, you know, broken and stuff. All you could hear were chainsaws on Tell Road in Fairburn. Just how many trees went down, way too many to count. But I don't know whose chair that is, but it got thrown into my mother's vehicle. One tree barely missed Jermaine Henderson's mother's house. Still, he said he's thankful it wasn't worse. No injuries, uh, thank God. Glory to God, man. It's <laughs> We're lucky, I suppose. And that was the theme of the, the many people I spoke to in the neighborhoods here today. No deaths, one injury in Fairburn, no injuries in Palmetto. That one injury was from a tree that fell onto a car. It certainly could have been much worse. And Glenn, the people I talked to today were really very appreciative of the early warning. And it was one of these situations where it was a very clear signature on radar. We were able to get that warning out in a pretty timely manner. Yeah, 